obsessed with this Vax Hoover. I love it so much and I'm gonna show you why. Mwah. My new baby this is. This is a Vax Mac Air. Best Hoover ever. I'm gonna do this video outside because I'm hot. I'm hyperventilating. This machine took my breath away. Woo! And of course I had to have two of these because one isn't good enough. So here they are then, the one on the left, the black and purple one, is the Avax Mac Air. That's the latest version of the Mac Air, because the previous version was called Mac Air, but this is a new one and it's completely different, mainly because of the head design and a few other different changes like the motor and such. The one on the right is the Air Stretch Pet Max. It's basically the same thing, but I'll show you why it's different later. So this is the basic one. It's a pretty premium machine for what it is. So see this purple brush bar? That is one of the best brush bars you could ever get. These bristles are incredibly dense and stiff, so they will really scrub your carpet and get that deep down dirt out of your carpets. And there's two rows of these as well, with a powerful brush bar motor in there. So it's gonna continuously scrub your carpets without any effort. This thing has really strong suction, so that's why there's a suction control vent on the top of the head right here. So that's for thick carpets, and the more suction you want, the more you close the gates, not the gates, sorry, the vents, and the more suction you have. There's a rubber bumper on the front, so it protects your furniture. And as for rubber, these two big fat, well not fat, they're quite big rubber wheels. And there's two on the back as well, they're also rubber, so again, it will protect your flooring. These are extremely lightweight as well. Look, there's my pinky finger. No effort at all. What I really like about these is the bin and cycle unit. So press that purple button, the entire unit lifts off. This is actually better than a Dyson, do you know why? Okay, yes, a Dyson has features like the bin flap, so you can drop all the dirt out very easily. Yes, this one does it too. However, in addition to that, twist the lid. You can then access your filter like a Dyson. Yeah, but really thick gaskets around the filter, so it's nicely sealed. But what a Dyson can't do is it allows you to, well, yeah, you can remove the bin on a Dyson as well, but turn this ring right here. You can remove your shroud. See how easy it fell apart because they allow you to wash the shroud with a Dyson you can't do that so imagine all the dirt that builds up inside the cyclone and you can't wash it because with a Dyson you're not supposed to with these the cyclones are washable so added bonus there's your washable cyclone washable shroud pop it back together like so put on your retaining ring that locks into place pop it onto your bin it's really easy you can't mess this up look that makes it in there like a puzzle pop your filter in there's even instructions telling you how to wash the filter. Close the bin flap, put on your lid, and there you are. This entire unit is dust free. So that's your pre-motor filter in there. In here, if you turn on this lid, there is your HEPA filter. If you've got dust allergies, this is brilliant because you've got HEPA filter and it's also sealed with seals around the perimeter of the filter. So yeah, that locks into place. No flimsy clips to break. It just twists on and it just stays securely fitted. Yeah, quite an elegant machine. This has a hose on the side as well, so you just undo it with this purple button right here. That comes off, and there's your stretch hose. Okay, it's not the longest hose in the world, but it is a stretch hose, and it reaches to a decent amount of a length. So you can carry this up and down the stairs as well, being lightweight. And in addition to that, what you can do is you press on this purple latch, then you can remove the entire one like so, like that, with a nice comfy handle. And it's metal as well, unlike Dyson's plastic. Yes, yeah, so don't be alarmed by this short looking hose. It actually does stretch to a decent amount of a length. You can attach this hose to the end of the one like so, and there you have your lovely extension. You can reach up high, down below, anywhere without bending over. And you have this attachment on the back as well. This is your two in one combination tool. It's a crevice tool with a brush attachment. These bristles are kind of stiff though. Not too stiff, but it's adequate enough for dusting of most surfaces, but just nothing delicate. So you pop that on there, and there you are, you can start cleaning. Or attach it onto the end of the hose cart, like so, for handheld use. Put your wand onto the handle area, locks into place with a satisfying click, and then your hose fits on to the front of the head, or the side of the head even, like that, and it locks into place. It won't come off unless you press the button. So your tool storage is on the back, out the way, and nice and tidy. Your cable storage is on the back as well, and it has a clip for the plug so it doesn't flap around. You can remove the entire cable in one go, like so. So again, very handy feature. And also, another feature I like about this is it has brush control. So this is your power switch right here to switch it on and off. And this button switches off the brush bar when you want to vacuum hard floors or delicate rugs. And switch it back on again for carpets. And that's all there is to the Vax Mac Air. So why is the Air Stretch Pet Max different? Well, it's basically the same thing. However, in addition to that, you are getting a 
extension hose clipped on the side so you get further reach and you can actually pretty much reach to the top of your stairs i haven't tried this myself but i imagine it does because it is quite a length everything else is the same you've got a longer cable i believe it's about 10 meters or 12 meters even so you're getting a much more significantly longer cable and even the tool on the back is different as well so this one's a three-in-one attachment okay so this is your brush just like the other one has and then you can just remove that and flip it over to have a stair tool yeah that velo strips coming off a bit but you get the gist that's the lip removers and as you can see there's a bit of lint on it already so it does do something and there's your crevice tool which that one has as well the tool doesn't stay on the back of the machine as securely as the other one but that's not the most amazing tool this one does come with a turbo brush for pets the purple one does anyways i'm not sure if the orange one does but it comes with more tools for further cleaning the only thing i hate about this one compared to the mac air is that the handles is telescopic you might think that's a good thing yeah it's nice to be able to adjust the height of your handle but honestly the suction is so powerful i want to use the machine with the full suction at all times and because it sticks down to the floor so much and i still use it with the bleed valves shut the handle collapses down because it can't handle the amount of suction this thing produces so i'm gonna swap the handle off of this one because i do prefer this machine so the handle on this is non-telescopic and it's fixed so it's more reliable and it's put onto this one and there you are i've got the best of both worlds and finally there's a light on here which is your brush bar indicator light which lights up green to show you that the brush bar's on and it lights up red showing you that there's an obstruction in the brush bar the mac air doesn't have this it's just blanked off with a purple piece of plastic okay so this rug in the kitchen yeah i know it's gross having a rug in the kitchen but i don't care i'm obsessed with hoovering all right so this rug hasn't been hoovered since about 12 hours ago 13 hours ago with a dyson v10 which is a highly respected vacuum cleaner with tons of power but let's see how the vax does in its brand new condition are you ready not too loud and you know what i forgot to mention you know yeah this has an upright lock so you have to kick the head down but with this the suction is so strong on this carpet it doesn't even need to be kicked down look pull the handle back it automatically reclines. That's how powerful it is, okay? And look at these carpet lines. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. I'm in love. Look at this already. That is a perfect carpet line. You can't get better than that, can you? It's pulling the rug back. That entire whole rug. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's carry on vacuuming. And yeah, you can reduce the suction if you find it a bit too powerful. I don't like to do that because I want the full suction. Do you know what I mean, yeah? You might think, oh, this carpet's too soft. That's why it looks like it's doing a good job. But no, I've had other vacuums where I've vacuumed on this carpet and the carpet lines didn't carve anywhere near as good as a Vax Air. Okay, watch these cat biscuit comes. You ready? All gone. No surprises. It just does phenomenally well. Look at all this already. Okay. So you remove the cyclone and bin. Press the button here to empty. Jeez. This is a load of cat hair and dust and dirt. A lot of fine, gritty dirt. And I vacuumed the Dyson V10 yesterday. So it just goes to show that the Vax is a serious machine. <coughs> in terms of power alone. So, there's still some fluff in there that I didn't pull out. But yeah, amazing machine. Clean up time. Look at this. If that doesn't look like a new carpet, I don't know what does. But yeah, that's the Vax Air, the Mac Air, and the Air Stretch Pet Max. Stay tuned for demonstrations. Oh look, you can see my footprints. That's how Fluffy, it's made the carpet. Okay, anyways, stay tuned for big mess tests where I put these vacuums to their ultimate limits. Can they handle a huge, huge, huge mess or can they not? Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.